YouTube subscribers. Uh, today's video um, we're going to do on this uh, RCI 2995DX made by Ranger. Um, this particular model has the MOSFET amp in it. Okay, and I'm not going to power it up and give no startup video because we pretty much already know what's wrong with it. Uh, the guy has uh, blown the amplifier section up in it. And I'm really not that pleased with these MOSFET amps. Let me give you a second. I'm going to turn it a little bit and give you a little insight. The, the amplifier is in here. Um, and these things, man, are noted. Uh, I see a lot of these come into the shop. I mean, kind of a great ideal going MOSFET, but they seem to be a little sensitive on things um, with the MOSFET amps. I'm not sure if Ranger needs to reevaluate these amplifiers or what they need to do, but... Uh, the 98s and a uh, few of the other ones that are coming in here with these MOSFET amps, I'm seeing the uh, FETs are being blown out in the amplifier. Now, I'm not saying that's because they've been modded or whatever. I've seen stock radios coming in here blown up. I've seen modified ones come in here blown up. I've seen all kinds of different stuff. Um, and, you know, a lot of times uh, MOSFETs are static sensitive as it is anyways. They're very static sensitive. Not like the older transistors, you know, like the 69s or the 2312s or even... The pills, you know, like the uh, 2SC 2879s or 2290s, they weren't so static sensitive. But these MOSFETs are. So the thing is, is you get any kind of electrical static in the air, it tends to shoot back at these uh, at these little devices. Now in the 29s, I put like a little protection circuit in them to help those from blowing up because I learned that years ago that static would take them out. Um, and, and basically that could be anything. Static electricity could come from lightning storms. Uh, if you're in a mobile, could come off of traffic lights, overhead lights, power lines. Um, even some bridges you go across will carry static electricity in the metal of the bridge. And that could be from the electronics that they got running from uh, basically coast to coast or, or from side to side, whatever, however you want to pronounce that. But, uh, you know, what we're going to do here is I'm going to pop this apart, do a little video, show you the insides of the amp, and then uh, show you the after were you know the afterwards of everything working and looking good uh, we'll be back all right guys we're back uh, here's the amp board everything's all disassembled here as you see this is your MOSFET amp board and as you see see that little marking there that's actually a hole in the MOSFET you can't really see the one up underneath of it back here that one has a hole in it also uh, these two over here don't look like they're bad off but with these things, you have to replace all four of them. You don't want to trust uh, just the two, you know, because normally what happens with these MOSFET amps, when one blows, they cascade and they all blow. So we're not going to take the chance. We're just going to replace them all. Luckily enough for him, it doesn't look like he's damaged the board any, which is a case with these things uh, over a period of time. They'll damage the board, then you have to replace the whole board. So we'll be back with an update. Aftermath um, of these uh, MOSFET transistors, as you see, good old hole, leg done blown off. Okay, and then uh, we've cleaned up everything over here, all the soldering, and as you see, he did burn one of the legs off of the uh, traces, so I put a little wire in there so we can extend it out. And that's usually what happens with these MOSFETs, man. That That's what they do. They do this kind of damage, man. Um, I, don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, I think it's static electricity more than anything else, but... Uh, there you have it. We'll be back with an update. All right, guys, we're back on the RCI 2995DX uh, with the MOSFET amp. Uh, this thing really did a number. Of course, uh, I told y'all before it blew out the uh, the MOSFETs on the amp board. Uh, I actually tested them all for them were bad. Also blew out the ones in the radio, and it took out the regulator over here on the side. Um, so, yeah, this did quite a doozy on this one. Um, I heavied up all of the MOSFETs in them uh, to uh, more than what the factory put in them. They usually put a 520 in these things. We uh, we upgraded them to a uh, lot more, I shouldn't say more, but uh, a lot better or mo more robust MOSFET. Um, these should handle pretty well. I went through, uh, reset all the biasing on them. Also did, uh, I'm not going to show you all exactly what I did, but I did uh, like a little protection deal that I do in the 29s when I comp tune those for static absorption um, so hopefully that should help it out <clears throat> but here we go right now just preliminary checks I still got a button everything up in it I don't know how well y'all can see that with this box kind of in the way but 
a five watt dead key there. Oh yeah, a little over 30. Variable all the way up, we have it set for 20. Oh yeah, hello, 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 one, 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 one. So about 40. And that's stock microphone, so uh, looking pretty good. Oh yeah, hello, 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 oh, 45. So, I guess we probably, everybody likes to see peeps, so let me, uh, let me change slugs here. Uh, let's go, oh, there's the 500, so we'll just do that one. And here's the peak. A 500 watt slug. Oh, uh, yeah. Hold on, what do we got going on here? I just bet you my batteries are dying in that meter now. Oh, uh, yeah. One, 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 one. So give me a minute, let me change out the batteries, we'll check peak again. Alright guys, we're back with the uh, 2995 DX. Um, just going to show you a couple things. Uh, I don't have any batteries for the meter, so I really can't give you all a true peak out of this. Uh, I need to go stop off and pick up some new batteries. These things take 2 out of 9 volts, so um, I, I accidentally left it on the other day, so it actually killed them. But I think I might have figured out the cause. And I will show you this with my dead batteries on peak. Uh, oh, that's not the amp on. That's just the amp off. Turn the amp on. Oh, uh, yeah. So about 140 on the peak. It's probably going to do more like probably 200 with fresh batteries in it. Um, normally these MOSFET amps will at least do about that much. Uh, but I think I know why he blew this amp up. And now I know I say static electricity, things like that. But... As I was putting the case back together on this, I noticed something. I'm going to show you all. See this little connection right here? It's got a heat shrink tubing on it that somebody put on there to make this adapter, I guess, for the fans. Both these wires were exposed. The heat shrink tubing had slid back. Positive and negative were sitting right there. I'm wondering if these two shorted out on it. So what I did is I put the shrink tubing back on it, heated it up some, plus I put some liquid tape on it to uh, kind of hold them apart from each other and that's what I did but I'm thinking that might have been the cause of uh, the root of all evil I should say but there you go fellas a repair on a uh, MOSFET uh, amped uh, RCI 2995 DX I'm not a big fan favorite of this radio but a lot of guys seem to be hope you all enjoyed the videos if this is something uh, that you may need done a repair or something of that nature Give us a shout. We'll help you out. Stick me in at the new name Amp CB shop and we're gone.